support of that or anything. So it's uh it's a good project. Now it ties me and BU, but um, So what what brought you to get it to you then? Uh, I, I like the idea of uh, P2P and yeah. uh, I uh, was curious as to, uh, I didn't know it was an ongoing thing so I feel somewhat inadequate here because there's uh, a lot of effort that's gone into it and I'm trying to figure out... Um, everybody here is I only know about it. I, I'm, I'm the only one who's worked on it so far, uh -huh. so everybody here is in Well, I'll tell you then one place where, uh, you know, I don't know if it's at EU level, but my, my son is a new teacher. And, you know, it's, it's incredible that two new teachers have to develop their, uh, not their curriculum, what do they call it, the... Uh, syllabus. Syllabus, you know, it's not even the syllabus, there's another more formal term to it. Yeah. And uh, it's such a waste of time that every new teacher, you know, we have, uh, you know, 10,000 or 100,000 uh, math teachers in this country, and there's not a place you can go on the web and download a, a good program uh, or, or a good methodology for teaching uh, what an isosceles triangle is or whatever uh, yeah. whatever it is. You know, they all develop this stuff individually. and It just makes no sense whatsoever. So, you know, I don't know if that's uh, P2PU stuff, but, you know, collaborations on doing that would seem to be uh, very beneficial. And um, um, Are we adding a resources layer on top of P2PU? Well, so the P2PU was born out of the idea of, you know, there's all the open resources out there. There's like. MIT Open Courseware, yeah. there's all this free stuff, and it was born out of the idea that all this stuff exists, but there's no community around it, so yeah. there's nowhere for me to go and say, hey, I want to learn calculus. I took the MIT calculus course, and I'm trying to learn it, but there, I don't understand how to do this derivative. Can somebody help me? So the idea of P2PU is we set out a course plan for six weeks, and we get a group of people together, and we cover those resources, and if you have problems, you ask your peers, yeah. and they help you out. Um, so. I mean, we're, so we're not we're not necessarily in the business of creating new resources, but it happens. Yeah. Um, but the main the main thing is using what's already there and building communities around it. So tying all the resources together as a course. Yeah. Okay. So, so when we go back inside later, um, what are our other ideas for projects? So we came up with this one of like tying in projects well, and I was, saying. I was just going to say, let's run down these and pick which one we want to dive deeper yeah. into. We have uh, integrating open source software into like recommendations. Like what you can go into after your course or courses, IE plus PPU, which was the transcript. Yeah, I actually didn't get to go to that um, that one. Can you explain it? Um, well, well, we talked about it a little bit. It was the the idea of you know, oh the, the accreditation one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. It's like the thing. It's like um if you play Xbox 360 or any of the video games, yeah, it's like it's um good. achievements for learning. Yeah. So okay. really, you get an achievement for a course. Cool. We're working on an open source project. So if you can imagine, if you take like these series of P2P courses, you're like labeled, you know. If you take a whole bunch of um, web-based programming courses, yeah. you're like web core Yeah. To that extent. Okay, I got you. Okay, so there was the recommendations thing, there was the IE plus P2PU. Um, what, was, what were you saying about the cost and then if you get the money Pass the course, you get the money back. Oh, this was like kind of a, uh, that was a uh, sustainability, sustainability models. Okay. So, um, different ways to you know, keep, keep a few Running. going. Mm -hmm. uh, right now it's all volunteer and grants. Yeah. So, which isn't a bad thing. Like, you can no. keep doing volunteer. I'm, I mean, w whenever I think of like sustainability, like, I remember um, there was um, uh, the Open Internet Week, there was in New York yep. City. I was visiting a meetup.com and they were talking to me about their business model and how they went from being free to establish, to, to like creating meetups, to the person who creates the meetups has to pay, I think it was like 10 to $18 a month. And what happens is that while the number of meetups decreased, the number that stood together um, increased because the people who were paying into this were really serious about making sure that yeah. the meetups were happening and that everybody was getting together. And if your meetup is big enough, you can like get Charge 50 paid. cents a dollar from everybody and then pay for it. Yeah. And now they're, they're like exploding in terms of profit because they're making all this money without no need of advertising revenue whatsoever. Yeah. The, the, the New York meetup, there's a New York tech meetup, they charge $10 and there's like almost a thousand people go to it every, every month. So they make a lot of money. $10 That's is a nice price. Yeah. 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 Never, I talked to you on that, right? Chat. Oh, really? oh, you were on the line? Yeah, I was on the line. Oh, awesome. Called. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, internet person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fellow Redditor. Yeah. Um, what was the other idea? 
Well, it was those, and then we went back into talking about uh, suggesting open source projects. We talked about the uh, the bike rescue. Yeah. And the uh, HFH. That was the house. Uh, you had said the name. Oh, yeah. House. Um, uh, Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity. Yeah. Uh, Firefox, it was just other open source projects and how we could like say what courses they taking and what could they possibly get into. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, then we got into the IE game. Right. So the, are there any more ideas that we want to talk about or we do, do we want to take one of these and kind of hash it out a little bit more? I like the recommendation system. I think it has a yeah. you know, thing. I think so too. I think that's kind Which of cool. Which one? Recommendation? The recommendation, so the idea of you finish a course at P2PU, and organizations can associate themselves with courses. Yeah. Like, for example, Mozilla can associate, or Habitat for Humanity could associate with the um, carpentry oh, courses, geez, course or is. Sam and his open hardware project for open source amps could associate himself with the music courses. Or and a course could associate itself with another course. Or, yeah, a course could associate with another course, or a course could associate with other organizations. So that when you finish a course, you have a recommendation of, hey, now that you're done, if you want to keep building your yeah. academic profile, here's an open source project you can work on that will help you learn. Yeah. They'll get benefit, you'll get benefit, and we'll track it on your profile. Yeah. I think it would work if we add another, the, the, the reverse idea. I'm an organization and, and I need a set of skills that would recommend students or users mm -hmm. who have finished a set of courses that have been already built mm -hmm. that could serve your project. Yeah. So it could work the other way around. Okay. Like a portal for like project management. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. Cool. So well, how would something like that look? How would somebody use this? I think it would first take a lot of time yeah. to get data from people mm -hmm. to build the database. Yeah. You need a large data set enabled in order to build recommendations correctly. Well, because I, I would think like maybe you want to do it uh, kind of organically. So you have a you know a way for anybody to add in this database of stuff. Right. Like, so Talk maybe... Talk to the people that already took the courses and see where they went. See where they went, yeah. Right, correct, yeah. Mm. That's cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, have we you? have three people who worked on this course and then they ended up contributing to Linux or contributing to jQuery. Has or anyone or heard of the website hunch.com? Yes. They do something similar to this. They would start asking you personal questions and then the, the purpose is to start recommending products at some point. Yeah. They got like... I think 50 million answers yeah. to their questions so far. Wow. H-U-N-C-H? Hunch.com, yeah. Hey, Ben. Yo. What hey. time are we stopping? That's what I was about to ask you. <laughs> you said 30 minutes, but um, 30 minutes is going to end in about 5, I think. So should we go and talk about so it? So it's, it's 5 o'clock is when we scheduled to end. Yeah. How long do you think the ending yeah. stuff is going to take? Half an hour. Half an hour. So we should probably end by 4.20, so about 8 minutes from now. Let me tell everybody they have 10 minutes. OK, yeah, that's a good idea. So, yeah, we'll just do that. And then we'll, we'll go straight into the report back. We won't take a break. Right. Cool. Um, okay, so let's, let's dig deeper into this recommendation. Yeah. Are we, is that what we want to do? I think yeah, so. I think so. It sounds mm -hmm. like a good idea. Yeah. Um, so let's, do we want to just stick to courses to opening up to projects, projects to courses? I mean, I think both ways make sense. Like yeah. projects to projects, to courses, courses to projects, mm -hmm. and a way to gather the data from both sides. So a course organizer, when they design their course, maybe we want to say, where would you go after this to keep learning? Yeah. What kind of projects would you typically do after, after this? Course? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is this will prep you for what? Yeah. Yeah. And then we need some way for or, or organizations to come in and say, I'm looking for people. If you have a course about this, you should tell them about my organization. Or would they be able to possibly upload a course or upload material? Well, course. the courses have to have um, somebody to run them. True. Okay. You can't just create a course and leave it. Like it's 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 usually somebody has to do something. So. Or maybe even something like um, so you have uh, on the page you have um, like certain projects or organizations like the Linux project, uh, the WebKit project. And you click on it and then it's like you want to work on these courses to yeah. have specific knowledge for it to work on that project. Yeah. Um, I think we need to add a rating process for both organizations and users or students. Uh -huh. Like, let's say I'm an organization and I had a good experience with people who took that course, then I would bump up its rate, let's say, yeah. that people who took this course were very effective in solving this project. Yeah. yeah. I think that would 
like I took three courses. Like, yeah, like a feedback yeah. loop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the incentive could possibly be like, if, to like have it have it on your portfolio, like I worked on this project, and using that data we can see like, oh, most people that finished this course worked on a project that had to do with this, and it kind of like shows you, maybe once you have a lot of data like that, you could have like, you know, a certain percentage of people that took this course ended up doing a project in this field. Like, yeah, exactly what you said. And they were like 80% 80 80 of the time successful and got, got, yeah. got you know, got everything on time. And, and the good process. thing about that is you get feedback from the organization as well, because as time grows and more people are working on their stuff, like, hey, this is great. We have an even better yeah, idea of other stuff that you could teach them to, like, to make, you know, to, to make this even better. Mm -hmm. So it's like you get that positive feedback behind that plus the actual work from the users. Maybe we should go through these and see what we've got yeah. on the papers. Um... Create an app development course on P2PU from the content app Brooklyn Apps. This is the course suggestion. Yeah, that's a course suggestion. But this is kind of like connecting those people with projects that like you were saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Brooklyn Amps guy wants us to do that. <laughs> he, he actually had brought it up. I wrote this one. Oh, you wrote this? But, uh, oh, okay. He had brought it up. He's like, we could put a course on P2PU about... Hardware. About doing, like he's doing like an open amp, I think it is. Yeah, yeah open amp. Do a course on building your own amp. Something like that. Yeah. So this is a cool idea. Maybe have something like the community can stay together with people that have taken this course. Everyone that's ever taken this course can have kind of like either a forum or something that you can, maybe not a, a project that already exists and looking for people, but you can create a new project from that mm -hmm. with other people that have the same uh, skills as you from that course. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Like keeping, keeping classes together. Maybe not just the class, but everyone that's ever taken that yeah. class. Okay. Yeah. Um, P2PU training for online mentors, online community folks. I think you kind of like discussed this yeah. as far as yeah. teaching people how to teach jump in. It's so meta. <laughs> uh, manage P2PU courses with New Tech Network, the course management software. Um, oh, I, I know what this is about. The, the yeah, guy who was showing too. us like the courses. It's kind of like a combination. He like combined um, Drupal with Google Apps to create a, uh, yeah. to, uh, a course system. It's meant for schools, but you can have it where you see the coursework and then kind of like the whole online content management system for for a school based on that. Um, P2PU plus Fat Flat World is awesome. That's uh, the group who is yeah. doing. Uh, I actually used to work there. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's the Flat World? Um, they did uh, like. Um, textbooks. Oh, the open Online. textbooks. Yeah, the okay. open textbooks. Um, collaborative futures and P2PU providing the menus for classes. Kind of the same thing as Flat World. Yeah. Um, and this one was ripped up. Um, P2PU and IE collaborating. That's. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, we talked about that. All right. So now I guess um, we have. A